you can do is, you know, get into conservation. I mean, that just stressed me because I, I'm so passionate about it. You can find value in a hummingbird or a butterfly or a lion or an elephant. If you can find value in that, then it's sexier than that. Uh, I find, yeah, that, that anything good something different, doing something new, it's really interesting. And seeing someone else passionate about what they're doing, definitely everybody in there is so passionate. But I've really, because I've been lucky enough to travel the world with my animal planet uh, job, I see so many wild spaces that need protection. Let's find a happy home here for these animals. Let's find a happy home uh, for these people. Let's try and figure a way that, that whatever conflict is happening in the world right now. You know, I was just in India where five years ago the country was 22% forested. And now it's 4% forested. So you've got situations where there's large herds of elephants roaming around in tea plantations and, and, and rice fields. And that's not okay for the farmers. So that's a direct problem. And I don't know what the solution is there. I believe that most of conservation now has become a financial discussion. Uh, only because... You, most of the conservation problems are in poor countries where uh, the population just needs the resources that the animals need, and that conflict always results in the, end, in the animals coming off so fast. I believe that generally speaking, people would like to have animals around. It's just you know, when push comes to shove, they also would like to. confidence staring down a lion or cuddling up to a tiger. I exude that confidence because I can look and know exactly what it's like. So I think if you apply that to anything else, whether it's fashion or anything else, as long as you're walking into something with comments where you know what you're doing, what you're capable of, you recognize what you're risking, but you're willing to take that risk. I think that's that's confidence. No matter what you know and no matter how tough you think you are, when a lion comes at you and you think he wants to kill you, some people are just designed in their body to run away or to take that one step back. I can tell you every time I've been charged, my first instinct is to want to come at it, and it's that that keeps you alive and something that you're born with. Whereas most intelligent people, when an elephant's charging at them or a lion or a tiger, their instincts is to do this. If you do that, you're dead. So instincts are very important.